Hey, it's Josie with Affirmation Pod, where you get soothing affirmations to help you live in self-love. Welcome to new listeners. Welcome back to returning listeners. I've had so many messages this past week from those of you who are recovering from burnout. One person said, you don't know how badly I needed this. If you're also going through burnout, I send you so much love and strength. The last episode, episode 412, is there for you anytime you need it. This week's episode is called Coming Out of a Slump. It's a request from those who've been struggling to keep up with healthy habits, nutrition, exercise. One request said, I've got plenty of momentum. It's just that it's going in the wrong direction. I really want to improve my life to reach some goals, but my negative thinking seeps into my behavior and I feel stalled in a slump that I can't get out of. Someone else said, I want to get out of this funk and start feeling good about myself and my life again. I think I get too caught up. Even when I know it's not true, I still find myself believing everyone else has it together. No one else has problems or struggles or battles. And I know part of this is because of what I see on social media. I just need a fresh start so I can truly focus on being the healthy me. Well, if you're looking for a change, you're looking to start fresh. When it comes to deodorant, Native has you covered. And Native will help you feeling and smelling fresh all day long. They are a proud partner of 1% for the planet, which means they've committed 1% of all their plastic free deodorant sales to environmental nonprofits. Their plastic free deodorant is aluminum free and paraben free. And with their new 100% plastic free deodorant, you are saving 37 grams of plastic. With Native, choose from 10 cents, including their classic coconut and vanilla. That's one of my favorites. Sensitive formulas. Those are the ones made without baking soda, and they even have unscented. Ready to try plastic-free deodorant? Go to nativedeo.com slash affirmation or use promo code affirmation at checkout to get 20% off your first order. That's nativedeo.com slash affirmation or use promo code affirmation at checkout for 20% off your first order. Thank you, Native, for sponsoring this episode today. And now here's affirmations for coming out of a slump. It's been a while. And there's a story to it. But right now I want to say that I am back. I'm here again. I'm ready to settle in and get going. I've got more courage now. I feel my motivation is back. And I'm ready to take this on. I am willing to climb. And climb higher. I am back. I'm drawing a line in the sand. I'm coming out of a slump. I am believing in myself. I am more capable than I know. I can handle the bumps and bruises. I can manage the emotions of this. I am back. 
I am stronger. I am wiser. I am prepared. I am releasing the past and looking forward. I have the now. I am creating what I want in this moment. I am coming out of a slump and giving myself a fresh start. I am here, and I am ready. I'm ready to move. I'm ready to improve. I'm ready to go. And yes, you are back. You are ready to go. The sister episode to this one is episode 369. It's called Coming Back to Self-Compassion. I chose that one because it's one where you can not be so hard on yourself because coming out of a slump is a shift and a change. But there's a few other episodes I've also was like, wait a minute, that could be a good sister episode. So in the related episodes, you'll also find coming back to healthy habits, motivation for a new beginning. You can handle this. And I know some of you longtime listeners could probably pick other episodes much faster than even I can to go with this one and to help with coming out of a slump. You may also want to check out episode 407, which is called I Am Great at These Things. It is a good reminder that you have the skills, you have the tools, and you've done it before. You can get back on track. I am still getting messages and emails talking about that episode. In one DM, someone shared her example, I am great at caring way less about what people think of me than what I did 10 years ago or 20 years ago. I am great at being myself and honoring my needs, even if people, especially people who don't know me well or have only just met me today, want to judge me for it. I'm okay with that now, whereas before I wasn't. For example, if I'm just not wanting to talk, if I don't want to socialize much, I'm good with just keeping quiet, whereas before I would push myself so hard because I wanted to be everyone's friend, I wanted everyone to like me. Josie, you don't know how much this change has helped me. And I am proud to say that I am good at these things. And I'm so happy I can share this with you because I don't talk about it much. But I am so proud of this freedom to be me without mentally stumbling and fumbling about what others might think. I'm going to put I am good at these things also in the related episodes listed in the show notes of this episode. Now, did you know that I have bonus episodes only available for premium access members? There's over 80 of them now. Premium access members also get all the episodes of Affirmation Pod with no ads and no announcements. Find out more or to join by going to affirmationpodaccess.com. That's affirmationpodaccess.com. Thank you for listening to Affirmation Pod today. Now go be you, know you, and love you. This is Josie with Affirmation Pod. Hey, it's Josie here. Thanks for listening today. If you want to hear more episodes like this one, please subscribe to my channel or click on another episode right now.